So I went to Lowe's and bought a lot of the structural steel components. Never used it before, never even heard of it until a couple of days ago. So I thought it might be a good idea to try it. And so what I'll do is I'll I'll show you some of the stuff and, and tell you what I've got in mind. So we'll open it all up and have a look. Okay, I'm going to try to do a little demonstration on this steel tech structural steel and fittings to give you an idea of what I have in mind. So this is the, I went to Lowe's and this is one of the parts that you buy for, this is actually a base part and which looks like this. You see it has Allen screws in it and the base has bolt holes so that you can so that you can mount it. So the Steel Tech is the brand and you can order all kinds of parts for this. You can probably buy it online, no issues, no problems. So let's just talk about the bases. So this is a base part. It's round, it's got a round base to it. it as Allen's Allen wrench uh, set screw in it to hold it in place. So you buy the pipe, which this is a six foot piece of pipe. And so this particular base will go on like that. And then you tighten a set screw uh, to hold it in place. Uh, it's loose, so it's not the greatest thing in the world. But what I'm planning on is once I get everything put together, and since it's modular, I can adjust things and, and you know, make changes but once i get everything together and i really like how it's put together i'll i'll weld a, around this seam here and uh make it really strong okay here's another base that's pretty cool and it's a hinge type base and what it allows you to what it allows is for you to mount it just like you normally would okay and so when it's on it would allow you to have a hinge so that if you want something to move up and down. And so what I'm thinking about doing this is for a console type storage compartment. Have it mounted in the back. And then this this part would go forward. And then it would hinge up based on this you know, being mounted in the rear. And then have um, sheet metal uh, screwed into or bolted to or riveted into this part here. So that it can actually lift up. And this is the other base. And I've already showed you. And this base here has two set screws. It's a little taller in this area right here. So it'd be a little stronger than, than, than this one would be. Okay. So there's other components that you can use. Like this is, this is a T-joint here. And it would allow you to connect two different pipes if you'd like to. Or, or have one come in on the bottom. And even, even three different pipes, because you could have a pipe here and then end it in and another one right here and then have this one here. Um, it's really easy to, to set to screw this stuff in and get it to, to stay stationary. So you just have to take and take your Allen wrench. It's not as easy when you have a phone, but take your Allen wrench and just screw it in. And it's stationary and it, it'll stay there. This is a really cool piece here. And what it does is what I'm thinking about doing is having a hinged panel. So I'll have this go around. I'll have the part go around the tube and then a panel bolted to, to this. So that way I can open and close this panel and maybe a glove compartment or something of that nature. Um, it too screws in and will stay stationary if, if you, if you tighten it down. So this stuff is pretty cool. They make all kinds of different joints for it. They make one that has four joints and then, and so it has this, this direction and this direction and front and rear. So you can actually connect a lot of different pipes together for that. A lot of people are using this stuff for furniture and, and you know, etc. Some industrial look type um, decorations and shelving and etc. But I think this is going to be a good basis, a good background, uh, or, or a good foundation, so to speak, for what I'm planning on doing on the inside. And you can see that the tubing itself, it's fairly thick walled, so that's pretty strong. But I'm going to double it up a few inches away. The idea is, like I said, is steampunk. So going steampunk, this is 
I'm going to have parts of this extrude um, where you can see it. I'm going to have maybe mount some gauges to the pipe itself um, and have it inside the interior. So I, th I think this is a good way, a good foundation, a good method to start your fabrication. And really, if it's not structural um, and where that it's important, where it's just visual, it's just cosmetic. This stuff you could get by with just Allen screws. I'm planning on using it um, for a little bit. I'm probably going to be mounting the steering column with it with some additional bracing. But I will have this all tied together and have it so that I can mount some sheet metal to it and, and just have it still visible is the plan. So it's, it, the plan is going to evolve as, as I figure it out. That's for sure. So I'm hoping that it's going to work out okay. But this, this steel tech is some pretty cool stuff. It's also available in, in galvanized silver color. Um, and that, and that'll work really well, um, for the same purpose. I chose the black, um, because I really don't like welding on galvanized steel. Um, and I can also repaint it. Uh, if you're going to be welding on galvanized, anything that's galvanized, you, you might need to grind off the the galvanizing and also have it well ventilated, have fans on you. It's very toxic. You do not want to be welding on galvanized steel. And this may be galvanized under the painting. I, I don't know yet, but uh, I'm going to be careful with it. And, and I suggest you do the same if you're planning on doing any welding on this stuff. You can tell that a lot of the parts are cast. You know, that's these are cast parts the steel is cold rolled steel so it's pretty strong and uh i think it's going to work pretty well we'll see how it goes